Imagine if you could create your own superpower. What would it be? Today, that's what you're going to do in a Google slide. So you're going to open up your presentation and you it is going to say this, if I could have any superpower. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to add your name. So click in here in this box and then just add your own name. And then I want you to go to the next slide and this is where you're going to brainstorm your idea. So all you have to do is click inside and just start making a list of everything you've ever wanted to do. Would you want to be invisible? Would you want to be able to make the weather change? Would you want to be able to be anywhere at any time? Could you teleport places? Just imagine all the things that you could do. Now go ahead and put all your brainstorm ideas here, whether you want to control the weather. Okay, maybe you want to control the weather. Maybe you want to be able to teleport anywhere. Maybe you want to be able to make any snacks you wanted, right? You could just create as many snacks or you might want to be invisible. Maybe you want to be invisible. So these are different things that you can just click and you can just start brainstorming the ideas that you want to be. It's now time for you to actually create your own superpower. So you can see I have designed a couple of superpowers here. Like I decided maybe I wanted to be a weather wizard here. And then on this one, maybe a snack maker where I could collect anything I wanted to do. So here, let me show you how we're going to do that. So what you'll do is you're going to go to slide three where it says design your own superpower. And this is where you get to create images and even text box to show what you want to do. Example here, I want to be a weather wizard. So let me show you how I did that. I've inserted a GIF. I've also inserted an image of a wizard and then a shape of a cloud and a shape of a lightning bolt. So let's just go ahead and show you how I did that. So first I'm going to click my text box and then use my mouse to create a text box because with Google Slides, you can't just start typing. You have to actually include a text box to put your words. So the first thing I did was I went and I inserted a GIF of the rain. So I go to GIFs and stickers and then I searched for rain and then I found this and I inserted it. And then now I can come over here and I can use my arrow keys and I can stretch those out and make it what I'd like. Okay, and if I don't want to see those words on the bottom, I can even crop that. When I press crop, I go right here and then you're going to see that the, there are these dark corners inside. So I'm going to use that dark section there and I'm just going to bring it up and that will cut out the bottom of that. And then I can come back up here and there you go. So that is how I got the background. Then the next thing I wanted to do, which you can do anything you'd like, you don't have to make a weather wizard. I'm going to search the web for a cartoon wizard transparent background. Now you can search whatever you'd like and I think this is the one I found there and I pressed insert and then I'm able to move him over here. And then the next thing I did was I inserted two shapes, a cloud and lightning bolt. So I'm going to come back over here. I go up to shapes and I chose shapes and then I made the cloud shape and then I'm going to go back to shapes and there's even a lightning bolt and then I can create the lightning bolt. Now I can change the color of the lightning bolt. Now that it's highlighted, I go up to the paint bucket and then I can choose a color and I want that behind the clouds. So I mean, since it's highlighted, I go to arrange, order and send backward and now it's behind the cloud. So there's my weather wizard. For this one, I did very much the same thing, but I looked for food and then I also looked for like a cartoon little girl with a transparent background. And then I added this shape right here for a call out and the call out, I could choose a call out like this and design my call out. And then I also changed the way it was facing. So I went up to arrange and then I did rotate and I did flip horizontally and then I can have it that way. And then you double click inside and you can start typing. So that's how you are able to use call outs to even make words that goes with your character, that will go with your character. Once you have done that, you're going to come to the last slide and this is where you're going to name your superpower, what it can do, how you would use it, and why did you pick this superpower. So you just click inside and you answer the question. So weather wizard, click on the next one. What can it do? My superpower can make the weather change in an instance. How would you use it? And then you would go in and you would tell me how you would use it and then why did you pick the superpower? 
I really want you to enjoy this activity because we're going to use it for our next week's activity. So be sure you really think about it because next time you're going to actually design your own superhero that can use the superpower. So go ahead and get started. When you're finished, you're going to turn it into Google Classroom.